Hello and welcome. In this CodeWars JavaScript video, I'll be taking you step by step how I solved the triple trouble challenge on CodeWars.com. This is a great challenge for those of you who are still struggling with regular expressions, and I solved this one in three easy to follow steps. But before I get to that, let me explain the challenge. Your task is to find a triple in the first number and then find a double of that same digit in the second number. If you found it, function should return 1, otherwise it should return 0. A triple is 3 of the same number in a row, like 9's here, and a double is 2 in a row of the same digit in, an, in a row, like the 7's that I highlighted here. So the steps I took are as follows. First, it's kind of obvious that I'm going to need some sort of a loop, so I start off by creating one in which i is never bigger than 9, so that way I get all the single digit integers, but I don't get anything more than that. Uh, next, I needed some sort of rejects that will be checking all possible numbers from 0 to 9. I used two separate regular expressions with template literals to do that. And to finish it off, I created an if statement to test the rejects against the numbers and return 0 or 1. So now that you know the steps you need to take to solve this one yourself, go ahead and give it a try as that's truly the best way to get better and I'll just get down to coding now. The first step is quite easy, as I mentioned before, I want to create a loop where i is never bigger than 9. So that's done. The second step was uh, creating regular expressions that would check the number. So I'm going to use the i variable as my number because that's going to be changing as the loop goes. So that's pretty much perfect for me because it's never going to be bigger than 9 anyway. Um, so I'm going to create two constants for my rejects. And I'm going to use the rejects object here. And what I'm looking for is the number. So I'm going to use i as the number. And I want to find it three times. I want it to repeat three times. And in the second rejects, I'm going to do the same, but only twice, because that's what we want. And that's done. So the last thing I wanted to do is test those rejects against my numbers. So I'm just going to create an if statement. And first I'm going to take the red one and I'm going to test it against num1. And then if that's true and the second uh, condition is if the Reject, the second rejects is also true against the number 2, then I want to return 1. And if it's not true, then we don't do anything. And when the loop finishes and it didn't return 1, then so if this function gets to this point, this return 0, that means that it didn't find any triple or doubles. So it it never exited. Because when it returns one here, it just exits the fun the function altogether and it's over. So if it gets to this point, that means that it didn't find anything and it's gonna return zero. Uh, let me just check if it's alright. And it is, it seems so. So that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, let me know how you did this one or if you had any problems or if you see a way to improve my code. I'm always interested and just let me know and I'll see you in the next video.